you're chasing by inquiring you're sort of looking the mind kind of in the face and by doing yeah. so it it chases it back to the heart where it can then be quiet yeah um i'd say that's where i want to live all the time but i it's it's <laughs> uh not always I, I, it's an aspiration if you will mm. uh, controlled by movements of a joyful heart is like the the ideal line to end the mm. chapter on somehow and you know what we've yeah. been talking about yeah well i feel like you know it's not necessarily for a life let's say human life it's not necessarily better to you say you want to live there all the time mm -hmm. it's not necessarily better to live there all the time than it is to um be doing the work you know like so you know if you're saying like self-inquiry so you're inquiring like i mean if you're not doing it at all then that's a different thing <laughs> but like if you're aware of self-inquiry and t texts like this and when the awareness is there that you're applying you know and you're you're being diligent and you're doing the best you can like you're doing that work so maybe you're not feeling that joy all the time because you're doing the work that for to knock the things out of the way yeah. or whatever like I think that's a life equally as well lived as one who's like in the joy all the time. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I know that's like what, that's kind of like our motivation, you know, and that's what keeps us going because we know like, okay, it feels good and it feels right when we're here. But if we have to, it's kind of like wanting something to be done before it's done, you know, uh. like if you go into, I don't know, you could say a room to clean or a garden to tidy it up. And you go in and you start saying, like, I'm looking around my room because it's kind of quite messy at the moment. <laughs> so if I if I have a job that I want to come in here and make it beautiful. And I step in the door and I say, I want this to be done already. You know, <laughs> maybe I've seen it clean before, so I know what it's like. And it's like, oh, I want this to be done already. Like, that's not, um, it's not going to feel good. <laughs> you know, it's like, um, it's almost going to make my job harder as well mm. it's going to make my job harder like because i'm doing it with like a heavy heart like it, sh it shouldn't be like this now mm. you know it should be different mm. whereas if i just step in and i'm not really thinking about how it's going to be when it's finished i'm just like cleaning it like i'm in the moment cleaning it okay i just see that this needs to be picked up so i'm just going to pick it up and this needs to be put over there so i can bring it out of the room and this needs to go in the bin and i'm literally just with that movement like this needs to be done then in that way like the joy is already here like so you're doing the work but the joy is already here so the means and the end are the same so that's why i say like it's not really different to be let's say on the path than to be finished the path because i don't think we can really wait to be finished the path because even though some people talk like that i don't know if the path is really ever finished you know because maybe our own personal things can get less and less and maybe close to being finished but you know there is no personal things really like in the beginning it seems like things are personal but then as you continue on the path, the things even that seem personal, they're not really personal. Like anyway, you know, like maybe you're we're all dealing we're all dealing with the same things, you know. So maybe we're dealing with, you know, anger or fear. Like fear is big up. We all have like it's kind of like the root of a lot of things. So what we're that fear, it's not like a personal fear, it's just the fear in consciousness. So how can we be finished? You know, and that's kind of what a bodhisattva is. Well, a bodhisattva knows that it's not finished because so that's why they're here. Like they're here to help, you know, and they're not helping because like I'm a bodhisattva and I'm finished. So now I'm here to help you because it's all part of the same one thing. <laughs> you know, there is nothing personal. So if you're on the path, you're really in that stream of joy already. And maybe, you know, sometimes we feel a, an overwhelming joy and it feels like there's nothing else. Maybe not overwhelming. It's not maybe not the right word, but we feel like joy. And like, so that it's kind of that thing, like we have the idea that it should be like this all the time, but not really, you know, like there's a there can be a more um, subtle quality to that joy. So even when you're faced with 
like really challenging life situations, you know, that may seem personal or not. It doesn't really matter because it's still just seeming. It seems something seem very personal. So that means it's maybe harder for us to get through it. Like it's a bit more like tight or something. Um. So, but if we're on that path and we're choosing diligence and um, whatever we need to do, there's a maybe the joy there is more su- subtle. You know, like there can be a beauty. We can find like a. Be- I'm going like that as if there's like a fine thread or something. That's like, <laughs> but there is. It is like that. Like so, there can be like a fine thread. So, when I hear you saying that, like you want, you aspire to be there all the time. Like something feels like you are there all the time. You know, and even like all the time. You know, like but you might think. You know, like most people think. Yeah, but I'm not. You know, because and maybe it is like that. Like maybe sometimes you're you drop out of the path. You know, like you forget forget that this is like important to you or whatever but like it doesn't really matter like we're not in control of that you know so as long as you are sometimes you know and those sometimes like when the awareness is there that you're like yes I want it it's not like when the awareness is there you're saying no I'm not interested (laughs) you know because that probably doesn't happen but if it's just not there and you get caught up in things and you forget for a while like that's okay you know like that's that's what this life is like that's what it has been that's why we need to have a thousand texts and a thousand bodhisattvas <laughs> and endless bodhisattvas we're going to have like here and endless satgurus endless like whatever spirit guides and all like we need help <laughs> you know because the nature of this life is maya is to get confused so we don't need to be like oh but I want to be like that and just like it's just like now and forget about all the other times it's kind of like the forgiveness thing again it's like like every single person who's been on the earth has a past and a history when they didn't uh follow the path or they weren't diligent it's like okay okay it's fine <laughs> that's over now and it's over now anytime you're like aware enough to be diligent What's so beautiful about that, and I think the reminder that I get over and over again is just directly addressing this wanting, you know, regardless of what it is. And you've done that several times in our conversation. It's really beautiful. So that, you know, you just, there's something about acknowledging that there's wanting, which, you know, kind of opens the door to letting go of it. And, you know, that right there, you know, there you go. Yeah. That's it. I think it just like, the little kind of ideas can get more subtle and subtle, you know, as the longer you're in spirituality and they can, you can, they can just like go by like easily missed, you know, and maybe you've been kind of believing some kind of subtle idea for like 10 years or something, but like, it's okay. Even if you have been believing in a subtle idea for 10 years, as soon as you notice it, you've noticed it. And then it's like, okay, I'm not going to fall for that one anymore. It doesn't matter how long it takes. We have all the time in the world. It doesn't even really matter. Like, it doesn't matter if it takes us another 10 lifetimes. Like, you know, it doesn't matter how long it takes. It's like, it's right now. Because, like, it's like, I'm coming back to that again, because it's like cleaning the room. It's like, it might take 10 lifetimes to clean the room. But if you're doing it with joy, you're also already there. It's like the paradoxical thing. You're already connected and one with, and you're already in that stream of joy. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> so that's a wrap <laughs> I think that's what they say they used to say that on Irish TV they must have those things 